Transport. The DA in Gauteng wants the security contracts of provincial public uh, hospitals reviewed. This follows a recent incident in which an unidentified visitor gained access into the Chris Honey Barrack Ornith Hospital's restricted area. They then cut piping that supplies oxygen to the ICU ward. Let's discuss this further now. We are joined by Mzigai Se Chonchi. He is Nahau Gauteng's provincial secretary. Thank you very much, Mr. Chonchi, for your time here on ENCA. Quite concerning hearing about about how uh, nurses scrambled to save the lives of uh, patients in an ICU ward. Uh, just firstly, what are your thoughts around the security at Bara? It looks like uh, you know it was found wanting on that day. Mr. Johnji, please just check that you are not muted for us, please, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, greetings to you and your viewers. Indeed. Uh, we learned with shock that such an incident would have taken place, but it didn't surprise us much because mm. the security situation in many public health institutions has always been a cry of ours that um, the security in these institutions uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Um, we have been meeting with the department to such an extent that it was agreed that they need to insource security, but for some reason, nobody is willing to in, uh, to implement that decision. Mm. And this is leading to all the problems that we're having in these institutions. Yeah, and I mean, if you look at it, uh, the DA, for instance, is saying that maybe the contracts of all public hospitals should be reviewed, uh, or, or the contracts of the security in each hospital should be reviewed. Are you in agreement with that? From our point of view, the security situation needs to be reviewed we will not say review contracts but our view is that all security in our public hospitals must be insourced mm. instead of using all the private companies which is uh, compromising uh, the security in hospitals mm. and safety of our members and staff in general yeah, I might be asking you a very cynical question here, Mr. Jonji, but I mean, hearing that this particular suspect actually used uh, an access card belonging to someone, obviously, because that particular area was apparently access controlled and you needed an access card to be able to gain entry into that particular area. Do you think there might be an inside job? It, it, it would be very wrong of me to make such an assumption mm. because i uh, wouldn't know but if someone gained access to the hospital through any means uh, obviously that is a criminal act on the part of the person that will have done that but i wouldn't speculate that there may have been an inside job but one thing we know is that security in these hospitals is compromised on a daily basis so we are not really shocked that this is what is happening so even even if there may be such a suggestion that there may have been an access card if you've been to Barra, you will know that it is easy to fake a, 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 an access card if you go into hmm. that institution so i wouldn't say that there, there, there was a, such a situation or not I wouldn't mm. venture into that thing. Just tell me more about this uh, easiness to fake an access card at uh, a very important hospital, not only in South Africa, but in the entire African continent. Tell me more about that. What do you mean? What I mean is that uh, it, it is easy to enter Chris and Baragwanath Hospital. There are no stringent checks on who comes in and comes out. Um, that, that's in essence what I mean. Mm. From our point of view, one of the problems is that there's two types of security in the hospital. One is private, one is, um, is, is, is belonging to the hospital itself. That to me creates confusion and uh, lack of accountability on those that are supposed to be responsible for security. Mm, and your concerns, because like I said earlier, this is a hospital that services not only South Africa or the SADC region, it goes beyond that and into the African continent as well. Indeed. Indeed. Um, it's, it's very concerning. And uh, if I were the government, I would act very fast because whatever will have happened in Barra on that day has a very bad
only does it have that bad impact on the community, it is putting the lives of workers at stake because we don't know who did it, but we know that they gained access to the institution. Bigger things could happen because of this poor security situation. And we want to urge the Department of Health in the Houghton province to act fast to insource security services and make sure that the entire situation is improved in the hospital. Mm. Just very quickly, Mr. Jonchi, you, uh, you mentioned earlier that you've been asking for security to be insourced at all hospitals, uh, public hospitals in Gauteng. I remember at Bara Hospital in particular, there was even uh, a protest uh, by some of the workers asking for this particular demand and their list of grievances uh, for security to be insourced. And you're saying that you've had a couple of uh, you know, uh, meetings, I'm sure, not even with this current MEC. There's been other MECs before that. Have they given you concrete um, you know reasoning why they're not taking the option of insourcing security in essence there's an agreement between ourselves and the Department of Health that security must be insourced for some reason the department is delaying the implementation of that and agreement. you don't know that reason they're not sharing and that reason we, we they are not sharing that reason but we know mm. that that they have with these private security companies. And from our own point of view, we don't know why that should be the case because there's already an agreement in place. All we're expecting is implementation. Mm. Well, we'll try and get more from the uh, Gauteng Health MEC herself. We did speak to the spokesperson, um, Mudalatala Mudiba, um, basically just telling us how concerned they are as government as well. Thank you for speaking to us there. Mzgayise Chonji, he's Nahau's Gauteng Provincial Secretary.